Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sindisme Mazibugo. On today's video, we are checking how serious are you about growing your hair. So there are certain uh, tips that will give you confidence in growing your natural hair. It's where you need to start and also progress further in growing your natural hair. So stick with me. Guys, uh, make sure that you subscribe, like, comment, and also stick around to this channel because I'm talking to you and you and you and let's grow this natural hair together. Please make sure that you finish this video because the last tip and the last review about growing your hair will shock you. So stick around. Guys, firstly, 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 what I will say about growing your natural hair, guys, I wanna I want to emphasize in loving your natural hair, like the importance of loving your natural hair, the importance of embracing it, the in, importance of, of 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 not being shy that you are black, not being shy that you have uh, kinky hair, not being shy that uh, you're having an afro. But go out there and be you and love your hair and grow your hair and learn all about your natural hair and make sure that like your hair is being um flourishing in 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 in, 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 in its own uh, um way so guys um i want to share some few tips guys that uh, like really have worked like i want to share some few tips and i really do want you guys to to check this this out so i would be selfish not to share this one the peppermint oil um the castor oil okay um i've been implementing these two mostly in my routine and i've seen progress so the progress came uh the progress it's because um peppermint oil and also um when it's mixed i mix the two peppermint oil when it's mixed with castor oil both um, eliminate list. My siblings always say you do not have dandruff. I do not have dandruff. Even when I'm I'm in a protective hairstyle or I'm doing braids, I do not have dandruff, guys. I do not. So, the secret is these two. So when these two are mixed together, the peppermint oil and also the castor oil have a very negative impact in making sure that it eliminates than rough onto your hair and also what i love about it is also promotes the hair growth we all want hair growth ne? we all want to grow that natural hair so these two I would, i'm plugging you with these two make sure that you are implementing it in your in your in your in your in your journey in growing your natural hair um also i could say like growing your natural hair is not easy i won't lie to you and say when you want to grow natural hair it's easy you do this and this it takes a lot of patience it takes a lot of love and it needs a lot of confidence within you so it's simple not easy guys it's not easy but you also in that uh, an easy process you have to, there are things there are certain things that you need to unlearn the second point that i want to raise to you to you and you is that you have to unlearn the lies that you were told about natural hair i want to share this um I used to hate my natural hair guys i wanted it to be stretched out i wanted it to be in heat stretch with the we um in stretch not because i i just hated it when it um when it's kinky when it's freeze uh because before i went natural um before i went uh, natural uh i used to relax my hair i've got nothing against relax hair but I wanted relax hair. I feel like, yeah, it's 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 the hair to go for, but that's not the case. So when the time goes, I unlearn those um um uh, negative lies about how ugly our hair is. 
uh, how um, uh, they are not in the calibrating it is they are unable you are unable to manage it but while I'm unlearning those lies I really really discovered that there is nothing wrong truly there is nothing wrong with my hair guys I discovered there's nothing wrong with my hair. Um, and and then I started to learn more. Look at my hair. Look at this, guys. Look. It's so healthy. Um, I really do love it. Tell me nothing about my hair. Because I really do love my hair. So it's why I started to love and also it where I started to see my hair flourish. It's where I started to see my hair flourish. Even when I, uh, people at work will say, wow, your hair is beautiful because I'm unlearning those lies and also I'm very confident and I wanted to grow that as much as, as any other hair. So, and also, one thing I've discovered about uh, wearing a silky, it's either silky bonnet or any bonnet uh, from your hair. Like wearing bonnet, uh, I think it's big, everyone wants to wear bonnet. But what I recently discovered is that bonnets are not good for your hair. They shave uh, your, your edges, like the, um, that, that elastic like have a negative impact which shape your, 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 your your edges so one thing i would say instead of wearing a bonnet wear wear a loose one not the tight one but i would also rather say just wear a head wrap and also make sure that your pillowcase is also satin why and because there are people who have this problem of uh if they're wearing a head wrap uh, the duke uh would, would, would be would pull out in the middle of the night and 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 what and what not so when uh, wearing a, a head wrap and also having um a, and also sleeping in a in a, a satin pillowcase uh also will will also help in 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 the in that so bonnet shaves your edges a bonnet like brings so much tension into your edges of which is um not good for your hair if you want to grow your edges because who wants to grow hair with um shedding uh, um, edges no one so you need to implement that and also one thing that will also hinder in you to grow your hair is that believing your hair is not enough it's not enough for your workplace it's not uh, enough um for events it's not enough for special occasion. No, guys. Your hair is enough for any occasion. For any event. Your hair is enough um, for your workplace. Show your hair. Like, show show people how our hair is. I think it's time now to start and be out there um, about our hair. And also, one thing I want you to check is this it's about trimming your trimming your ends it's about trimming your ends i know this there's this thing about trimming your ends and whatnot and whatnot do not trim it but one thing i've stayed um a year not trimming my hair but in that year i regret why i did not trim it when I trim uh, my ends, I see my my hair flourish. It's where um, my hair become alive because trimming avoid those tangles, trimming avoid those uh, knots which contribute in your hair not growing. If your hair is tangling unnecessary, most of the time, trim your your ends because this is a sign that your hair, your hair needs to be trimmed guys please subscribe please subscribe please subscribe like comment let's engage on these things that uh, 
those uh, tiny things that also contribute for us in not having the flourish natural hair avoid wearing your natural hair in shrinkage state why would you say why i would if you want to keep up with um retaining length you have to listen to me listen to me you have to avoid uh, wearing your hair in a shrunken state because wearing your hair in a shrunken state is the one thing that also contributes in, in you not gaining that length. Because while you, 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 your, your hair is being exposed in lots of uh, dryness, your hair is, is, um, is, 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 is not like uh, stretched out and your your it contributes to a lot of tangles. One thing I would say is that make sure that you twist your hair or you braid your hair like this to avoid that shrinking state. One thing I would say is that wearing your hair, your hair in a shrinking state before you start um coming out for me about saying this um is that it depends on your hair goal if your hair goal is to retain length stop wearing your hair in a shaken state make sure that you put it in a protective style or in a twist like this um, make sure that you do all that but if you your intention or your goal is not growing your hair then you can continue uh, wearing your hair in a shrinken stage so guys i hope um these few tips um i hope this these are the guarantee um tips that will contribute in you to grow your hair these are the guarantee it's been proven i've been proving it i've i've some of the things have hit me and i know some of the things and i've i've done and they um bring uh, uh, they have have in, in negative impact on my hair so guys thank you thank you so much for watching my channel thank you thank you so much for watching my channel you guys it's been a pleasure um let's grow this channel let's grow this hair let's grow your hair let's grow the next person here so yeah guys uh thank you love you love you so much please subscribe like comment and I'll see you on another one bye 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 Bye-bye.